number one in a pictorial now! You're doing so well, Dawn. You're going to be able to start pushing soon. Oh, my God, there's more. They did offer you one last night, love. Not helpful, Terry! What? Why? Oh, I'm just dead happy to see you. Oh, well, I'm glad somebody is. Did you join a boxing club while I was away? Oh, I'm sorry I punched you. It's just everything's been a bit too much. <laughs> well, you don't have to make a cooked breakfast, then. Oh, <clears throat> thanks. No, I'll just have a bit. Well, I'm sure you know where the frying pan is. Yeah, where were you going? To work! Somebody's got to! On my first day back, phone in sick! I am the supervisor. I have got to set an example. What in bum kissing? <laughs> Will you drop Belle off to school if you've got the time? And you won't find jobs in the racing section. You will if you want to be a jockey. Hey, I've come halfway across the world to sleep on the sofa. It's a damn disgrace, this. Marion Spice. Glenn. Would you fancy a chance oh. to We're living like students. Sort of sort of yes. Very fatty. Yeah. But a I'm sick of eating beans. Oh, good. Oh, good. oh, I don't know. I'm quite enjoying myself. Yeah, yeah you look terrible. I know, I feel it. Why don't you get yourself a girlfriend? That pearl one will do. I'm not sure there's any chemistry there. But she's a charwoman who can cook. Who cares about science? Oh. Um, shall I scrape it? Oh, there'll be no left. I'm trying my best. Yeah, well, forget it. We're good at cafe for a full English. I've been dreaming of one for months. Thanks you for sounding good. Ah, oh, hey, the wonder returns. Aye, well. And how are you keeping, sir? Oh, nice to see you welcoming first, Jarvis. <laughs> oh, I've taken good care of this lad in your absence. He, he's a pleasure to work with. You should be very proud. Oh, that goes without saying. Not got any uh, sons of your own, have you? Not that I know of. <laughs> uh, I'll uh, be in van when you're ready. It's recycling day today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, get yourself off. Oh, cheers, Dad. Right. Cap, money, paper. Cap, money, paper. Yeah. Kid, kid! Oh, I knew there was something. Come on. Now, if your mother asks, uh, I never went out to the house. We'll get you off to school now. Oh, by the way, which school do you go to? Big school. Oh, big school. Mm -hmm. All right. uh, come on. She's breaking my neck. <laughs> Can you get her off me, please? OK, she's done now. <sighs> please do something. Get it out. Hi, Dawn. I'm Linda Schofield. I'm going to be looking after you now. <laughs> hey, don't you leave me. Hey, I've got brats of my own to get home to. Linda's the best in the business. <laughs> hey, have you got a lazy one? Oh, different pain, different pain. Do you feel like you want to start pushing now? <laughs> yeah. Typical. <laughs> she always gets the exciting bit. Oh, no. Cheer up, Dad. <sighs> Nearly there. <laughs> I really don't know where to start. Well, if you can get through yesterday, you can do this. If the truth be told, I didn't handle yesterday very well at all. Well, you survived it. That's the main thing. Can I make a suggestion? Please do. Don't worry about the business as a whole. Not yet. One bit at a time, OK? OK. Now, why not start with Tate Trash? I know there's been a meeting about an overtime deal. Well, why don't you give Jarvis a ring and ask him to come up and see me? It might seem a bit confrontational if I do it. Could come in handy with Jarvis. Don't mince his words. I'm so sorry about yesterday. I did two funerals in one day. <laughs> Gotta die when I realised that that was your husband. I presume that you haven't told him about. Oh, you wouldn't have been offering your cans of beer if I had. <laughs> <laughs> That's it then. I am so sorry. Things change, love. But we never really got a chance to start. Don't say any more. If you were mine, I'd have all the treasure I ever wanted right here at home. Your husband is a fool. <laughs> Nothing seems familiar anymore. 
Been round every flaming school from here to what? And the kids have been going spare. You got her there, then? <laughs> ah, she seemed happy enough. <laughs> you remember Eddie, Bob's brother, from uh, last night? Oh, yeah, full English when you had him, eh? <laughs> See the baby's head now, Dawn. <gasps> Come on, love, you're nearly there. You've been so brave. Oh, oh my mum. Oh, I can't do it, help me, Terry. I can't do it. Can't. Listen to me, Dawn. It's too much. You need to really concentrate for me. Can you do that? No. Yes. Yes, you can. Oh, it's coming. God. Oh. Right, good girl. <laughs> See, keep pushing, <laughs> Good girl. Just a couple more and you have your baby. It's got a full head of hair, Dawn. <laughs> Now breathe now. Keep breathing. Right, don't push. Wait for a contraction. Right, this time help her, Terry. Come on. Come on, love. Come on. Love. Come on. You need me there. You need me there. He's coming. He's coming. You've done it. Got a boy. A boy. It's not something I normally get wrong. Is he all right? Is he all there? He's gorgeous. Here, check for yourself. <laughs> Baby, Woody. Oh! Look at you! Terry looks like you in a pocket! I've never said anything like it. <laughs> oh. You all right? I think so. I'm oh, sorry for squashing your head. Oh, I, I think I can <laughs> let you off. Big news. What do you have? The baby. Not a single frame on the video camera yet. So you're back then? I am. Make sure he doesn't scarper without playing. Vivian, leg it. I'm a granddad. No time to lose. You're obviously a highly respected member of the community. Hmm? Yeah, well, at least I'm not wearing a pinny. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> You're a natural. It's all a bit weird. I'm so knackered. You look a bit pale. So do you. You can hold him again then? Yeah. Well, you can't, because he's mine. Okay. <laughs> I'm only joking. Come on, then. Come here. Come to your dad. <laughs> Come to your dad. Oh, there we are. Hey? Mm -hmm. Little Woody. It quite suits him. I'm not having a kid called Woody Woods. Oh, Linda reckons they're going to do the hearing test on him tomorrow. Right. Well, we'll see, love. I mean, to be honest, I don't care. I mean, if he can hear, great. If he's deaf, fine. Now he's here, I'm ready for anything he can chuck at us. It's fantastic. Our little lad. I love you. I love you too. Don. Don, love. Linda. Linda. Something's wrong. Look at her. I can't be right. It's okay, Terry. Dawn's having a little bleed. Dawn? No. Dawn, can you hear me? No. She can't hear you. Oh my God, she's not going to die. Please. Please. Dawn. We need you. To it in here. What the hell happened? Don't know. Oh my god, I'm after all this worrying about the baby. There was blood everywhere. What a loser. You won't. Who's that? Who do you think it is? Oh, look. Oh, it's beautiful.
Do you want me to stay? Uh, no, thanks. But I'm sure Jarvis will have a cup of tea if you wouldn't mind. Um, uh, don't put yourself out. And I'll have a coffee, please. OK. Right. Now I'm new to all this, so, uh, rubbish. Tell me about it. So, uh, oh, my Lord, look at the muck in here. And that's not a Larry Grayson impersonation. What's in there, then? A casserole. Have you got any vegetables? Yeah, well, here he comes now. Uh, you are not too old for a slap on the legs. You ask my Frank Bernard. Oh, you didn't say you were coming. Well, I thought I'd surprise you. <laughs> Looks like I have. When did you last get the vac out? The bell's broken. You're young. You're strong. Fix it. Look, love, I appreciate the thought, but I just don't want... Yeah. Take a butcher's at that. Oh, I haven't seen a dumpling in months. Cheeky. Right, now what were you saying? Oh, you were saying now, were you, Len? Weren't saying now. I can see I'll have to take you both in hand. <laughs> it's been over an hour now. If anything happens to her, you're to blame for this. What have I done wrong? Oh, you'll understand when he grows up. Yeah, you've got your child, haven't you? I'm, I've lost mine. You've got no idea how terrifying this is. You wish I'd never met her, don't you? Oh, shut up. Right now, both of you. Something happens you can't control and it's disengage the brain and get the fists out. Sorry, Terry. Oh. Stop being able to do anything. Useless father all over again. No, you're not, you silly thing. It's your grandson. I'll bet he'll recognise your voice. You've been whittering on about him since the day he was conceived. Hold him. Go on. Bless him, Mark. It's just like his mum. She's lost so much blood, Viv. So would you, if you'd been pushing him out for the last 28 hours? She's had a hemorrhage, but she's in a very big hospital with more doctors than you can shake a stick at. Now, look. If I see one more sour face, it's going to get slapped. Hemorrhage. Yes. Sorted. Absolutely fine, thank God. Come on, then. Let's go for lunch. Are you sure? I mean, are you sure she's all right? She wouldn't say she was if she wasn't. She's had a long labour. I know it looked really scary, but I promise you she's fine. Can I see her? Oh, give the girl a break. She's sparkle. She needs a good rest. Hi, Grandad. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> yeah, very proud too. I'll take the baby. I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> Give it a couple of hours, Terry. Honestly, she's on a drip now. Everything's fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, it's all very well to say that there was an overtime agreement. I'm saying nothing. I'm telling you there was. And I have been backwards and forwards through the filing cabinet and I cannot find one piece of documentation. Have you never come across a gentleman's agreement? So you dealt with my brother? No, it was his missus. What do you might not have heard? My sister-in-law is up on a murder charge. The word gentle doesn't really apply around here. Can I have that in writing, then? I'd hate you to change your mind All later on. All previous agreements, whether written or verbal, are null and void. We're starting from scratch here. I think not. And if you put your mind to it, you might be able to strike a better deal. Doesn't have to mean that you're going to be worse off. So then I said what any man would say in that situation in Chile. Hasta la vista, baby. Hey. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, what do you do then? You walk away dead cool, like? You're joking. I just said he had a gun. I ran like hell. Come on, you. Mosh. Be useful for once. I'm parched. Yeah, well, there's plenty of cans down at shop. Yeah, I'll have half a dozen. This is on the war path, our Zach. Ooh, no. I feel sorry for you lads having to put up with that for all these months. <laughs> Police has been great. Pam? Nothing. It's a good job I picked Debbie up first. How's that? Well, when she said she goes to big school, she doesn't go to hot and come. That school was an infant school last time I looked. It's been a comprehensive for the last ten years. Thought them kids look big. <laughs> <laughs> they were about to send for social services. Yeah, well, when I left at New Year, she was as honest as the day's long. If she started telling poor kids, well, you've been bringing her up. I want everybody out. Me and my husband here are going to have a private 
chat. Well, if you've anything to say to me, you can say it in front of these. Is Eddie coming round again tonight, Lisa? Eddie always shares his cans. Who? Uh, oh, Bob's Eddie? We call him Lisa's Eddie. Um, does anyone fancy chip? We'll take the van. Come on, Debbie. Do I have to? No! So that's why I've not been allowed in my own bed. He has got nothing to do with it. A one-lunged inventor? My useless brother, Albert? And now a failed salesman in a penny? You can't half-pick them. You said it! She grilled me for two hours, then come sting. She's got a business to run. I thought her brother was supposed to be despot. <laughs> You must have an opinion, Betty. Oh, I'm saying now. Oh, do you see that pig flying past the window? Have you heard about Dawn's baby? Three times, thank you. As it should be. A death followed by new life. <laughs> you do come out with some trite. Oh, never mind birth and deaths. Have you seen Lady Muck today? Oh, yet another casserole winging its way to Len's door. That poor woman's had terrible tragedy to overcome. Is, is it such a crime that Pearl might form a friendship with Len? Yes. Did you honestly expect things to be the same when you got back? Which like you had me dead. Well, you could have been for all I knew. Things have changed. Yeah, well, they can change back. Start with a guy in a frock. If I oh, see it first... Oh, I'll tell while you're on. Yeah, Shadrach out. You give up this notion of being a supervisor. More money in the pot from all them hangers on. And not another soft word about Chris Tate. The man is dead, for heaven's sake. As ye sow, so shall ye reap. Oh, and what will you reap from what you've sowed? Huh? A family that didn't have you here when they needed them. Where were you when Kane needed an alibi? Or when Sammy fell in love with a Japanese girl? Or when Marlon tried to kill himself? You what? All right, he wobbled about on the roof and then he fell off, but you weren't here. Oh, a nice guy, Eddie was. Oh, what's wrong with being nice? You didn't have to sleep with him. No, I wanted to. Yeah, well, you're not the only one who's played away from home. Oh, I didn't play away from home. I have been permanently stuck here for bloody months because you abandoned us. What did you say? But her husband wasn't the only one she buried. I hope it wasn't a child. No, no. It was her embrace yourself for a word you never use, Edna. Her uh, lover. Oh, it's enough to turn your stomach. Hello, girls. Oh, that's another word I can't stand. I'll have a coffee when you're ready, Eddie. <laughs> Do you get it? When you're ready, Eddie. <laughs> that woman's insatiable. So where have you been, then? To Leonard's. There's not many ailments my dumplings can't cure. I'm absolutely exhausted. I've been on my hands and knees all afternoon. I thought I'd get the floor good clean. That is on the house. You're the first person to make me smile all day. Oh. Cheers, my dears. Oh, thanks, Viv. Just think, me a granny. Twice. Oh, and he's the sweetest little thing. You all right, Dad? I'm so proud of my little girl. Do they know if he's deaf yet? Viv. It's all right, Bob. We don't mind. <laughs> Dawn's all right, and he's a little smasher. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. That's the only way to think of it. Right then, come on, you. On, ten more minutes. Can't leave Eddie in the cafe much longer. Yeah, I need to do a feed in a minute. So. Point taken. Right. Bye, then. Bye, gorgeous. Hi, Dad. I was talking to the baby, not you. <laughs> Viv, thanks for today. You were brilliant. No need to look so surprised. See you then. Family. <laughs> Ta-da. Oh, I was so scared. Thought I was a goner, eh? Finding out you were all right was even better than seeing Terry here for the first time. I'm sorry, did you say Harrison? We'll call him whatever you like. Your show. Well, you make me cry. Well, there's no future for him and me without you. So don't you ever put the wind up me like that again. 
Well, I get the feeling she's going to be pretty hands-on here. She's organised childcare for Jean. Joseph's off on holiday and then back to school, and judging by the look on Jarvis's face... Jack, has she said anything to you about coming back to the vets? No, she hasn't. Sorry. It's OK. Maybe right to ask. It's just that I'm definitely going to need some help. We're going to have to get somebody in. Fine. Really? What, are you going to stay on here for a while? To be honest, I can't believe how much Chris kept going. I mean, I know you've helped out, Jack. Um, Zoe's right, though. It can't be done with just me and a bunch of part-timers. Someone has to fill in Chris's shoes. Go, you there! I'm warning you! What are you going to do? Leave me! Humiliate me! Have a couple of dusky maidens! It were only one. But she was a dusky maiden! Time was you were content with a rotund Yorkshire lass! You got up in the world or what? She were 51. <gasps> but that makes it better! I bet she got a card on her birthday more than I ever got! That statue's worth a lot of money! You know, I had hope. When you come back, if you come back, you'd have grown up a bit. But no, you're still as full of it as them in there. Here, have your memento of your holiday romance. I hope you've not unpacked yet. If you think I'm stopping here, I risk my life to get you this, you ungrateful cow! And your marriage! Was that woman I left last New Year? She's grown up and left you standing! You still got your slippers on? Yeah, we'll get more comfort from these than I ever got from you! <laughs> <laughs>